Tuesday, and you know what that means. That is the day that DHUT comes out and announces the new numbers as far as schools go and COVID-19 across our entire state. So the agency updates these numbers on Tuesday and Friday. Here's the latest numbers. About 300 new students have been diagnosed since Friday. That brings our current total to 39 hundred cases among students. When we talk about employees, uh, about 200 more cases across the state since Friday. Currently, there are 1,722 cases among school employees. Um, the total number of cases with schools in the state is more than 5,600. And again, these numbers only count the students and staff who are back to in-person face-to-face learning or back face-to-face -face for after school or sports activities. And because we are seeing an uptick of the virus here in South Carolina, we're hearing from more and more school districts that they are opting to go back to a hybrid plan before or after Christmas. So we have just gotten word that the Richland District 2 is now canceling all after school activities this week. And after the winter break, the district says they will switch to online learning. That's going to go on from January 4th through January 15th. Again, this is Richland 2. The district says they are nearing a critical point in terms of having enough employees available to operate the schools safely. Okay, let's talk about Richland 1 now. Richland 1 also returning to online classes after winter break. All students will attend class remotely during those same two weeks, January 4th through January 15th. And Lexington now, Lexington School District 4 announced it will be operating under a modified instructional schedule after winter break. So what does that mean? Well, take a look at this chart. Students are going to learn virtually January 5th through the 8th. Hybrid students will begin returning to school beginning the following week. Darce?